Folks, welcome back to another amazing, incredible, and indelible episode of Papa Day with me, your host, Lil Funko, a.k.a. Mr. Papadopoulos. That's right, it's me, Max, with another crispy episode of Papa Day. We're making some changes today, as you can see. I'm trying to upgrade my audio game, so this is a new lavalier mic. I lost the pin for it already, so I'm just going to kind of hold it, and uh, maybe I'll tuck it in my shirt and... Hopefully the audio comes out all right, but today we've got some crazy stuff to show off, and uh, you know, start with the Funkos, and we'll end with some other stuff, and hopefully you guys like it, but without too much further ado, let's, you know, let's just jump right into it, and the first one I have over here, I got a nice box, so uh, Entertainment Earth was having a sale, like buy one, get one, there was a bunch of stuff that was on clearance, so figured, why not grab a couple items, so... Uh, this is the Rachel from the Blade Runner set. It's funny, I just rewatched Blade Runner and I happened to order all the pops. The only one I'm not getting is the Pris pop. Not a character that I'm very fond of. All the other ones I think are awesome. So I've got Roy Batty, I got Rick, Deckard, and now I've got Rachel. Uh, yeah, and I'm probably not going to get any of the 2049 pops, but I figured round right out this set uh, with the ones I like. So, I think even from afar, if you saw Rachel as a pop, she's kind of an iconic design. So, very excited to have that one in the mix. And I'm actually going to throw her down next to my other pair of Blade Runner pops. So, uh, let's take a look at number two, which is my first Wood Deco. And honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the Wood Deco ones, but this was only like $8 or something. Or might, this might have been one of the ones I got for free, but... Um, I think for all the characters of to be Wood Deco, Groot makes the most sense because it just looks like an unpainted Groot. So, you know, the Wood Deco Iron Man and the Wood Deco uh, Spider-Man, they didn't really do too much for me. But this one kind of makes sense. And it also, it's one that I wouldn't even mind taking out of the box because it just kind of looks cute. So, actually, this is my second Groot pop. I think, technically, if you go back, way back, about five, six years ago... The first pop I ever owned, bought with my own money, um, that I kept, was in 2016 when Guardians was coming out. I ordered the everyone's favorite, and I think the, probably one of the best fun selling Funko all the time, the Dancing Groot uh, in the flower pot. And, uh, you know, it got destroyed by my dog, I think, at the time. But it's a good memory. I think the very first Funko pop I ever bought was for my brother in, like, 2012. It was the first Batman Beyond pop, and I think he says he still has it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to find a good spot for Groot. I don't really know where he's going to go just yet. Um, speaking of finding a spot, I got a Dune. So this is Paul Atreides, um, also known as Mu'ad Mwad, Adib. Um, so if you've ever seen, this is actually from the original Dune movie. And I had actually never seen this movie until like yesterday. So I watched it after I had ordered this one. But I knew I would like it. It's got a, um, a lot of really good actors. The sets and costumes are crazy. So if you have not seen the first Dune movie from the back in the, I think must be the 70s or 80s, highly recommend. Just just a crazy movie directed by David Lynch. So just just a really cool one. So And also this is, uh, I think his name, I forget his name. I can never remember his name because it's a very generic name. The same guy from Twin Peaks is the main guy. Um, and yeah, it's just a very iconic design. I think, again, if you saw this from across the room and you've seen Dune, you'd be like, oh, that's that's Muad'Dib. His name is a killing word. And, you know, you you must not fear because fear is the mind killer. And I'm going to go ahead and throw him next to the Rachel Pop I just got. So I've got kind of a cool like little movies, TV, and music section on going down over here. I'll show, I think at the end, I keep saying I'm going to show off, but hopefully today it, I'm actually going to remember to show off everything at the end. Because the very last one I want to show you, and the one I'm most excited about, is... That's right. Black Light Hulk... Folk. <laughs> Folk. <laughs> Black Light Hulk Funko, Pop, Funko Shop exclusive. Jeez, I can't talk. That's how excited I am. This is... You know, you guys know I love the Black Light set, so I had to get it. I actually, I have, just like Carnage, two of them. This one is to keep in the box. The other one is on display, and I'll show you... I put them up in that custom case I made. But yeah, um, I love this one because it sticks out like crazy. None of the other ones have very much green. So um, compared to that, 
this one is the first one to really use that green color that and it so it stands out compared to all the other ones um they also have a <laughs> a black light venom unfortunately the sculpt they used is not my favorite in fact it's a sculpt i already have so the black light venom is the first one that i i just saw and i was like it was just not the one i wanted especially because it doesn't really match the black light carnage so like it's the one the sculpt i'm thinking of with the venom is half his face is exposed and it's actually technically labeled as an eddie brock pop where even though he's mostly covered in venom symbiote it's an eddie brock because his face is exposed so not my favorite i'll still probably end up getting it because it's marvel and it's going in the dark and i wanted to complete the set of but eventually if they keep doing these really wacky just in my opinion this is this is a really good one because they use a really unique color and i think this one stands out and also you want to complete the avengers right but uh yeah, with the Venom one, they really kind of misstepped, in my opinion. I, it's not my favorite sculpt. I was hoping the sculpt would be more like the Venom poster we have, which is a much more compelling design to me. I want them to be fully symbioted out, you know what I mean? Just like the Carnage. So, anyway, not to put too much of a damper, I'm very excited about getting the Hulk, and I will show you guys my display for that. But, uh, basically, um, I'm going to hold on to that Hulk. Actually, I held on to my boxed Carnage for the longest time, and I said, you know what, I, I, I'll part with it, and I sold it, and the price for the Carnage jumped up like crazy, it's selling for like 120 now, I wasn't going to like grift people too hard, I still sold it for more than it was worth, I think I sold it for like $95, but 120 is insane, so hopefully somebody was excited, I hooked them up with a little bit of a deal while I still made my money back, uh, that pretty much paid for both of the Hulk Funko black lights that I just got. And then I'll keep one of these for another six to ten months and see where the price at is that and maybe flip one of these hulks and get some more because honestly where I'm at now is the resale value on all these black light ones. It's worth getting extras if you're into the, the second hand market. And you know what? Some people will say, you know, that's kind of greedy, it's rude. But honestly <laughs> I I've bought a lot of pop secondhand and I, if you look around and you ask people and you and you're polite, people will work out great deals with you, even though you might be paying more. Like these uh, blacklight hulks are going for like 50 bucks now, and that's nothing compared to 120 you're seeing for the carnages. So, if you're proactive and you're going out there and you're talking to people and you're asking for bundles for deals, they will cut you deals. So, I actually really like the secondhand market because usually there's a lot of really nice and honest people there. So yeah. Alright, so the last two things I'm going to show, I'm pretty sure I haven't showed these off yet. Um, well, at least one of them I might have, but I can't remember. But I'll, I'm going to show it anyway. Grab it. Well, I'm going to move some stuff around. So this one was on sale on Target for half off, and also elsewhere at GameStop. But this is the X-Men and uh, Transformers collab. So this is the Quinjet, or not not the Avengers Quinjet, I think it's some, called something else, but... The Avengers jet, essentially from the 90s cartoon. It even comes with a small saber tooth and Wolverine. But this transforms into a really dope uh, kind of Cyclops and Wolverine inspired transformer. And eventually I will probably take um, it out and for display. It's just so interesting. It's crazy. Yeah, I think this one's really cool. And oh, for 35 bucks, why not, right? So, um, yeah, maybe I might unbox this on my uh, main channel. And so, yeah, uh, look forward to the links in the uh, playlist for my main channel, all right? And then the last thing, and this one I'm probably definitely going to open on the main channel. Oh. But this is the, <laughs> the Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian helmet. This thing's crazy. Um, very excited to get this one um, and display this one. It's got lights. It's just really crazy. Removable tactical light, interior lights, like sounds. This thing's nuts. It was like 120 bucks, but um, yeah, it was worth it. Actually, I think I pre-ordered it when it was there was a slight discount. So it was. I remember seeing the charge on my account, and it was like only 95 or something like that. But still, for this helmet it's totally worth it. But yeah, if you get it now, I think it's back to 120. Anyway, guys, I will open this on my other channel, and maybe I'll be wearing it in a future episode. You never know. But, here, let me grab the camera and give you a quick whirl around the room, and we'll take a look. So, oh yeah, let me start down here. 
So down here at the bottom is my kind of movie collection. You see all the new ones at the top with the Blade Runners to the right, the Dune on the left, and I got an Avatar Zuko. Uh, we've got a bunch of uh, movie, TV, music uh, pops in here, so kind of a smattering. And then you go up, I got my video games and some more random pops. Bleeds upwards into the Pokemon, and of course my crown jewels, the Fully Cooly, and the entire Cowboy Bebop Complete Collection. All right, swinging over here. I've got my DC pops over here on this little cube. At the top, I got the black light, a rocket, and then of course, as we come over here, there is the out of box black light Hulk. He has joined the Avengers. In fact, I moved Doctor Strange over so you could be closer to the core Avengers, which is Hulk, Thor, Cap, and Iron Man. And then over here goes to Spidey and Carnage. And then the Batman the Animated Series pops with a bonus Mr. Freeze on the end because I think it looks cool. And then eventually I have another box. I'm going to make another light box like this. And uh, I think what will happen is I'm going to fill the, the second light box with the X-Men. And it will go right here on this shelf, which is dusty. Um, and I'm going to take the Batman pops and I'm going to get similar acrylic shelves to what's over there. And then I'm gonna put one on either side of the Spider-Man poster, and have the X or sorry the uh, the Batman pops kind of floating. If you guys kind of get what I'm going for there, and that's of course over Spider-Man and the symbiotes, uh, all the Pokemon, all the Transformers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I don't know if I showed off. There's my Krang the Conqueror, and then there's my uh, Power Rangers. I also moved the Invader Zim pops. Plus the uh, This Is Fine Dog onto either side of the Pokemons. And then going over here, of course, at the very top, we have the Black Light Vi Venom and all of my Funko Sodas who I moved together. I love how much Martian Manhunter glows under the Black Light. I'm pretty sure he's not the glow in the dark one, though. Um, and all of these acrylic shelves with all of my two packs. And then at the very top, all of my Avengers with Stan Lee in the middle, Spider Man. More Spider-Man, Fantastic Four, and then Miscellaneous. Oh, and then at the very bottom, whoops, I got some X-Men pops down here. Didn't really know. My Marvel section is getting a little overwhelming. But that's pretty much it, guys. And here's the full view of the Blacklight Paradise, now complete with Blacklight Hulk. And hopefully, eventually, the X-Men will arrive, and so will Venom. And that's it. Hopefully you guys like this episode. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. If you like my setup, hit me with some other stuff you want to see. Um, and as always, my name is Max. And as far as I'm concerned, you just got popified. Thanks for watching, y'all.